Hello everyone, it's me, Vintage Gaudi. Welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am showing you everything that I have bought in August, but not at thrift stores or flea markets, but online. <laughs> so sometimes I do online shopping as well, and these are the stuff that I have found online. And um, yeah, they are now here, and I want to show you and to share what I have found. First of all, in the timeline, you can switch to the part that interests you the most if you want to watch a certain part or if you want to watch the whole video, then you are more than welcome to do so. Um, you see, there are a lot of Barbie stuff in here. So we have a box full of Barbie stuff, but I do also have a one My Little Pony over here. And I think we would just start with the My Little Pony. Um, I am not the My Little Pony collector, but um, when I find some at thrift stores and flea markets, then, um, and it is G1, I do also have some G3, but G1s are the ones that I really want more to collect. Um, but yeah, it is hard to come by. So every now and then I find someone, some of them at a thrift store or flea market, but the most of them are online and I just, don't want to buy them online so because at the point then the collection will overgrow and i simply do not have the space for um another collection so the space for my my little pony collection is limited but this one here i bought online it was an exception or more of an exception this my little pony was only five swiss francs and um plus shipping, of course. So I was there. I cannot leave this pony for five Swiss francs. It is in an okay condition. I'm not sure if the hair has been cut, but I think it came with this short hair. Now, let me introduce you who this is. This is the G1 My Little Pony called Tickle, and it is an Italian variant. Um, here we can see we got here the Italy, um, yeah, it's not a stamp, but the initials from Italy, Hasbro 84. Um, so there are the, yeah, the signs that I need to know that it is an original G1 My Little Pony. Um, as I mentioned, it is in a okay condition. So um, this pony has definitely been played with and I did not clean it yet. So maybe when I'm cleaning, then um, I got some of the dirt a little bit off of the pony but some chips will stay or some yeah they're not stains but yeah <laughs> some pieces will remain anyways why about it i just told you it was only five swiss francs um and i could not leave it behind i have never seen this before this pony and i kind of liked the hair color scheme so it's more like in this kind of rainbowy hair colors so are really cute um, I love the wings of it, so this Pegasus wings, and this is the cutie mark, so we got like leaves, and actually at this point I'm not sure if the color of the leaves have faded, because um, this was also released with like glitter on it, so maybe the glitter came off, or this is, as I mentioned, the Italian version that did not have any glitter, so I'm not sure on that, but anyways, I'm really happy I picked it up, um, I need to clean it, so I do have another G1 My Little Pony that goes to my little pony collection and I'm really happy about it. After I got cleaned everything, then it can join, it can join the um, shelf from the ponies. <laughs> so you see, I'm not just only Barbie collector. I also do collect My Little Ponies, but sometimes these ponies are so high priced. And since it is not my main collection, I am not willing to pay that much for a pony. <laughs> now, let's come to the bigger packaging stuff that I have bought and this is all Barbie. Yes, I have already pre-researched a lot of stuff and I already put aside the things that I think were like knockoffs and the things that I could not identify. So let me just take off everything and place it aside. So we have a little overview from everything in here. I do also have dolls. Yeah, well, let me just start with the dolls. So, um, in here, or all of this stuff are from two sellers. Um, I just placed all together because it is more um, practical to use and to, to do the identification and so on. Okay, now let's come into the dolls itself. Um, I'm starting 
Well, let me just take off this beautiful girl. Also, all of these girls I did not wash yet, so they have also to go under a cleaning and a washing. It turns out that this girl is the 1990 wedding day bridesmaid Barbie, and she's gorgeous. Um, yeah, she needs a cleaning, but her hair is still intact. This really original long hair. This is a beautiful face. So, um, also, whenever you see a star in the eyes of Barbie, so like this cross or a star then it could be that it is a wedding theming barbie or more like a birthday theming barbie or so but most likely a wedding theming barbie so i could kind of um put together who she is real quick because um, of her eyes uh she's missing her earrings sadly but she has still her ring on so that's okay that's great this is her original bridesmaid dress and I have the same dress for Skipper. So I think it came with a Skipper, Barbie, Mitch and Ellen. And um, I think also maybe Ken and um, one of Ken's brothers or so. Um, so it was a kind of gift set. But also the dolls were released separately. She is so gorgeous. I love this dress. It is really cute. So um, Bridesmaid Barbie for me, for my collection. Then let me just continue with the things from the same seller and that's this one here. I wanted her for so so long. Um, it did not work out so I was always hoping to find her at a thrift store or flea market but I have never seen her before. So they, I don't know maybe she was not a common doll or not so popular not really yeah i'm not sure but what i also was really picky about is i wanted to have her um color changing leggings still intact so sometimes um this color changing feature disappears when you do it too hot or in too i'm not sure but at the point the color changing feature um disappears so um i was really picky and i wanted to have one with still intact color changing feature and I found her online, so I was like, okay, um, yeah, I have to buy it all right all online then. She comes with the most of her accessories. She has this beautiful face, so really cute. The face coloring really reminds me of the Baywatch Barbie. So from the color scheme, this yellowish, greenish to blue. Um, but yeah, it's just how it reminds me of Baywatch Barbie. She has really bigger size um, earrings. Pearl, pearl kind of pearl earrings she has still her original outfit on here is a sticker missing but that's okay um she comes with this bag oh in the bag is actually something what is in there oh let me just check i did not check that though ah it is another velcro thingy okay um she comes with this watch on her wrist so that's okay and as i mentioned color changing features so with the heat the color of the leggings will disappear and with the cold it comes back again here you can see this almost gone so this was a scratch or something but um, now you can see it comes back again and it gets darker so um, that's what I liked about this um, feature from this doll from this Barbie doll I never had it as a child but um, I'm really happy about it oh I forgot to mention who is this actually she's the 1995-96 Ocean Friends Barbie I do have her now and these are her accessories and funny thing or fun fact um, I bought this lot from two different sellers as I mentioned before and some of the pieces were actually also from that other lot that I bought from the different seller. So I have now her um, supplies and her accessories double. <laughs> and that's really cool. That's interesting. So um, I bought it from two different sellers and I got the same stuff. Um, that's, that's really cool. So I was not expecting that. Uh, and when I find out and I unbox the second box from the other seller, I was like, oh, yeah okay well then i do now have it double <laughs> hard time to find the doll but easy to come across all the accessories just at the same time so here you can see there's all the accessories maybe something is missing i'm not sure but she comes with like a video or recording camera she comes with this like i don't know what they are called <laughs> flossen we say flossen in germany um then she comes with this one here that is kind of microphone um with her oxygen bottle and snorkeling supplies so that's what she comes and that's really cool 
<laughs> Even though I do now have it double, but well, better double than nothing. <laughs> now let's come to the dolls from the second seller. Um, this seller had four dolls. Um, on the pictures, <laughs> let me just start with her. I already placed the original outfits on the dolls, so they had when they arrived a different outfit on. On the pictures online, this girl here had like um, hair bands that belonged to Cotton Style Barbie. And I could not zoom in to be sure if she's Cotton Style Barbie or if she is the Jewel Hair Mermaid Teresa doll. I have her already, but my doll has super cut hair. This doll has cut hair, but still long. So it's missing like around about 10 centimeters of the hair, but that's okay. So it is still super long longer than the one that I have. <laughs> so I will exchange the one that I have in my collection with her once I cleaned her and once her hair is nice again and maybe also the outfit because her outfit is not in the very best condition so the colors over here are faded. I think she was definitely used in water so um, th yeah that's the reason why the colors and the fabrics disappears a little bit. I found in the lot her original crown that's great so she got her crown and I can place it on her once she is ready to be on display. She has also her ear, uh, her finger ring on and still the earrings. And that's also great. I love that. <laughs> so I got Jewel Hair Mermaid Teresa as a double, but I will keep her because she's in a better condition. Next up, which girl do we also have here? This one here. Um, This is actually... Hula hair Barbie. I think she has cut hair and the hair is really frizzy. I'm not sure if I can back, get back it again, back, get it again. Can get it back again <laughs> as it should be. So um, unfortunately, I do have her already. Mine is in a really better condition. Also, you can see her um, bikini is, um, yeah, not in the best condition as well as her trousers so the most thing of the trousers are missing here unfortunately she did not came with the hula skirt itself um this is actually a double that i will um redonate or trade or sell um, with someone else who wants it because mine is in the better condition this box from the second seller was actually a box where i was more interested in the fashions than in the dolls that are coming with it um, but jewel hair uh, mermaid teresa i will definitely keep then um, I do have another Secret Hearts Barbie. <laughs> She's in the worst condition ever. She has this super cut hair and the hair itself are really... I don't know if I can save that. So I don't think so. She is really in a bad condition. I'm so sorry for her. But yeah, what she has is still her necklace and she has still her earrings. So the earrings are intact as well. The necklace is half intact because um, here the rope from the necklace is yeah gone almost gone um also her outfit is not complete so i could only or in the lot was only the top part of the skirt but she came with a second part from the skirt that you can pl place underneath and then it looks like a really poofy ball gown and the feature she has also color changing feature but um that feature is gone long ago because um normally here should appear some hearts there is no hearts anyway appear so um yeah that feature is gone a long time ago she will definitely also be a doll that i will let go mine that i have the secret house barbie is really in a better condition then another doll that i have here is this one here and you can see from maybe from the face mold and so she is a different era of doll she is the 2002 ballet barbie and that's really cute because her outfit was in the lot so um that's always good she has this kind of tutu with glitter on it really nice beautiful um body suit so really cute and um, her face and she has still her original hair um, type on but she's missing kind of a ribbon that goes around her hair in the same mat mesh material like this one here like the shoulders so um, I do have this ballet Barbie the shoes were also included a little bit faded in the color but anyways so 
Ballet Barbie from 2002, totally different era. <laughs> then we are coming to a Disney doll. We have here Aladdin. So um, <laughs> I'm just not the most Disney doll collector, but um, well, he was included in that lot. Um, and I do have a Jasmine, so I will definitely put Aladdin next to Jasmine. He's He has a lot of his original outfits. So he comes with the tur turban. Um, with a little jam on it. He has his vest, he has his trousers, his shoes, and somewhere um, here, uh, yeah, here um, is the lamp for Genie. <laughs> so um, I will keep Aladdin. He's also in a rough condition. For example, his hands over here, um, oh, this is more in the worst condition. The hands got something chewed on. <laughs> So yeah, we got Aladdin. So I do have a lot of fashions in here. I will start with the fashions that I already have identified. So that makes it a little bit easier in case if you have any of these fashions at home and you don't know where it belongs. So maybe my videos can help you in identifying your um, fashions at home. I do have here <laughs> the Jewel Hair Mermaid Mitch outfit um, with the crown. I'm not sure if this is really the Mitch crown. I suppose that that should come with blue gems, but not sure. So um, I got this outfit, this ensemble. It is a double and it is not in a good condition. Um, you can see also here the colors are almost gone. So this um, glittery fabric material is almost gone. Um, but I do have the crown of it. So um, this is a double. This one belongs to a Teen Time Skipper. Well, actually not Skipper. It belongs to Courtney. Um, I have found two videos or three videos ago at a thrift store, Teen Time um, Skipper, with the Courtney outfit. And now I do have a second one. Then also one thing that I immediately recognize is this one here. I don't know how many times I have found this cowboy hat. It belongs to Tarolin, um, Western Stamping. Um, <laughs> I, I think I have it like four, five times right now. I'm not sure, but I have it quite a lot of times. So it is also a double for me. Then I mentioned that the jewel her mermaid, uh, Teresa, was wearing um, pieces from Cut and Style Barbie. And this is one piece. So this is definitely a Cut and Style Barbie piece, a headband. I will keep this one because I like to do that in my Cut and Style dolls. It looks really cute. Um, so this is a piece that I have double, but I will keep it. Then um, this vest from Ken with shoes, with the original shoes. This is also something that I have, I don't know, three times already. The Western, I think Western Farm um, line. The other one, the head was Western stamping, but here we have Western Fun. This piece, also a piece that I immediately recognize. This goes to the Totally Hair Barbie. Um, really nice piece. We'll keep it. Love it. So you can put this in the hair. It has a wire in here. So you can do this in different poses and um, put it around the head from Barbie or the other dolls. Then um, what else do I want to show? Um, this one here, this kind of pyjama trousers. They belong, I think, to a fancy frill or Barbie lingerie. So one of these sets. I do have it already. This is actually also double for me. These socks here in lace um, fabric. Um, I'm not 100% sure where they go, but I'm assuming that they might go to the Fashion Avenue, the velvet um, Barbie outfit, so that pink and yellowish velvet outfit, so that set came with these stocks, uh, with these so <laughs> socks, sorry. Um, so I will put it in there. So that's really great to have a pair of them in my collection. Another piece I immediately recognize, the helmet. This helmet goes uh, most likely to, um, what was it called? Hot skating, hot skating um, line, probably Barbie. I have the helmet already, so it is a double for me too, but it could come in any other sets. But the hot skating line is the one that I um, know for sure that this is an, a piece that was included in there. Um, next up, which one do we have here? Ah, I do have the jacket or the robe from a Barbie that looks like a Dr. Barbie. Um, this robe belongs actually to the dentist Barbie from, I think, 95, 96. 
Um, I don't have it yet, I think. I'm not sure, but I do have the outfit from the Kelly. So I'm missing Kelly, I'm missing Barbie, I'm missing all the accessories. I do have the outfits for the dolls. <laughs> um, really interesting, but yeah, I do have that. So dentist Barbie's row. This one here, um, I am... 90% sure where this goes. I think this belongs to the twirling twirling makeup um, Barbie. Uh, this doll came with like a skirt and in the skirt was makeup included and then you can twirl it around and then you can choose the makeup you want to apply on yourself. I have heard there was also a Teresa version and the yellow version. Unfortunately, I'm missing the yellow version. And I think this is the top that goes to it. This one here is a piece that I immediately recognized as well. This one belongs to the Ski Fun line from 1991-92. No, it's more like, most likely 1991. And this belongs to the Ski Fun Ken. So it's the jacket, the ski jacket that goes to Ken. It's a really cool one. Um, it is in a <laughs> horrible condition. Look at it. So I have this jacket also, this is a double. Then I have this swimsuit with the glasses, with the translucent yellow glasses. This swimsuit belongs actually to 2003 Rio de Janeiro Teen Skipper. I have this swimsuit already, I don't have the doll. But um, this is a double, it is in a good condition and I like that the sunglasses are already included here. So um, I will keep it as well as a double. In here I do have accessories and things for the Gymnast Barbie. Gymnast Barbie seems to be really popular here in Switzerland as well because I find her stuff all the time. I find her bag, her Gymnast bag, I don't know, probably 10 times I have it already or um, I, I re donate it again. Accessories, we got here like the ribbons, the brush, we got her body, again two two bags, um, we got her arm pieces, shoes, so it is, it is um, a good amount of accessories from the Barbie line, from the uh, Gymnast Barbie, 2000, uh, not 2000, 1990. Three, four, something like that. This fancy frills from the 1990s, the number 5290, I have it definitely complete. Um, shorts, top, and like a little rope that you can put around it. Um, really cool fancy frills, love it. But it is a double and I don't need from the fancy frills a double. So yeah, <laughs> but I placed it in the bag so all the accessories belong together. Um, what else do I have double? Oh yes, this one here is um, from 1994 Sporting Life Fashions, the ice skating version and it is complete. Oh no, it is not complete. It is missing a little bag, but otherwise it is complete. It comes with the ice skating shoes. It comes with the dress, really beautiful dress and some pants with a hole in it. Okay, anyways, um, also not in the very best condition. I do have this um, fashion pack already i definitely have it complete this one here 1991 ski fun fashion pack from the number 7592 this is missing all the other pieces but i do have the west so that's great this is a west that i don't have in my collection yet so really cool uh, missing all the other accessories i am a huge fan from the ski fun line um i love the color scheme with this bright colors and neon and everything that's a totally a thing that i really love Next up is this one here, 1994, Shaving Fun Can. I'm missing can and the shaving cream, obviously. But otherwise, it is complete. I have the jacket or, well, the yeah hoodie, his trousers, the brush, socks, accessories in here. So um, this is Shaving Fun Can's accessory and missing can. Then also a thing that I parts of it have is this one here. Um, this is from 1995 Pretty Treasures wedding set. So it comes with a wedding cake and you can see on it there is Barbie and Ken. Really cute and it comes with accessories like wedding plates, um, something to cut the pie, so really nice. Another one, let me just go with the Pretty Treasures. This one here is also one that I don't have. It is 1995 Pretty Treasures as well. It is kind of silver set, so um, we got in here silvery plates, um, something to put a flower in, so really cute, so kind of din dining dinner 
um, set, Pretty Treasures as well. Next up is also Pretty Treasure. I have this one here from 1995. Um, it is called Pretty Treasure Jewelry. Um, it should come with shoes, with, um, I don't know, a lot of other accessories, but I just have the handbag. <laughs> um, yeah, but definitely will keep it. This one here is just the head uh, from the 2000s. It is the Flower Power California Barbie. Or maybe it came with the kind of Teresa, the brunette version. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the doll. I have another doll. I have the red head of that series. But um, I was hoping to find maybe the skirt and the top that goes to it. So at least I got that. But I just have the head. Then another thing from Ken. For example, we have here 1998 Go In Style Fashions. The number 68040 minus 92. It is missing a black trouser. But otherwise it is complete. And that's really great. It was just a simple fashion pack that came with shoes, this striped shorts and black, uh, this shirt and black shorts. So really simple fashion pack, but um, I had that not in mind. So this is definitely something that I don't have and I'm happy about it. Next up, we will go with this one here, 1997, Perfect Pink Teresa. I'm missing her trousers, I'm missing her pink hat, I'm missing Teresa and accessories. But I'm really happy that I got at least her top. This is the top from the Perfect Pink Teresa version. And I do have the um, velvet material uh, backpack. 1992 Western Stamping Fashions, the number 10342. It is missing a yellow skirt and the matching um, bag but it is a fashion pack and I'm happy that I got the shoes because look at these cool shoes these cowboy boots are simply in yellow and I love that the uh, mold is similar like the Hollywood hair um, Barbies also wore um, these cowboy boots in golden of course but um, here in this fashion pack it belongs to the western stamping and these boots were yellow, so that's really cool. I do have also the jacket that goes to it. And that's amazing, just missing the other pieces. But really nice, really nice fashions, really cool. Oh, I just saw here, I got another one from the Pretty Treasures, the baking set. Um, it is missing a little bit of accessories, but this one is really cool. This one gives me so, um, like, Christmas vibes with bakery things we got, like... Oh, I have to show you. It is so cool. Um, we have a bowl where you can mix all the uh, ingredients together. We have like a fork, a spoon, this piece here, this one as well. We got like a tray. We, and here we can see the little muffin man. <laughs> um, I don't know, but um, some cookies. Um, then we got like this tea cup. And here a measurement cup. Really cool. And we got here these two, and I love them. They are just the coolest. I love this golden shimmery material on it. So, um, this is so cool. I love this one. Um, when I saw that in the lot, I was like, oh, this is so cute. <laughs> this is from 1995, Fashion Favorites, number 68000. It's complete. It was quite a simple fashion pack, just some trousers or shorts and a top. But it looks so cool. It, it is so 90s, 90s vibes on it. <laughs> really nice. This is the very only piece from the 70s. I do have some 80s, most likely 90s um, fashion in here, in that lot. But here I got a piece from the 70s. Simply random in that lot from that seller. This one here is the 1976 Best Buy. The number is 9575. Um, it is missing a little white cord on the top, but otherwise it's complete. So it was just released this dress and here should come a cord, but I'm not sure. Maybe this is also a different version. Could be because here are no holes where a cord should have been. So I guess this is a different version as well. Now we are coming to another thing. 1995 Fashion Avenue Deluxe. So we got the deluxe or deluxe version, the number 14306. It is missing a purple handbag, but otherwise it is complete and that's really cool. Also, I am a really fan of Fashion Avenue stuff. Here are the shoes. This is the dress really extravaganza dress 
poofy sleeves. Oh my goodness, I love that. This is so cool. Um, and it is missing a handbag in a kind of velvet material, fluffy handbag. But nice. I did not know there was a deluxe or deluxe version from Fashion Avenue. But yeah, now I know there was. <laughs> Next up, um, oh yes, Ocean Friends again. 1996 Ocean Friends Adventure Dress and Play, was it called? It is only missing one blue um, feeding bottle, like this one here, but simply in blue and another picture on it. But otherwise it is complete, and that's really great. Um, well, let me just show it from this side. We got the dolphin that was included, we got an outfit, and as I mentioned here, some feeding um, supplies, and we got also this camera. So that is all a set that belongs, or all these pieces belongs in that set, so that's really cool. Next up is this one here, um, 1991 Dress and Go mountain bike set. I'm missing the mountain bike, I'm missing the accessories, but this was a set that was not released with a doll as uh, far as I remember. It just came with this fashion and a mountain bike and maybe some accessories for the mountain bike, but no doll was included in it. So um, it's technically a fashion pack. Next up is this one here, 1995 flower printed number 68580, dismissing a bag and a, uh, it is missing a bag with a purple flower on it, but otherwise it is complete and that's great. It has the matching shoes in here, the lavender shoes color. Then it is this outfit, um, here the shorts and the top, really adorable outfit, love it, love this kind of rose piece on front of the top. Very nicely, Flower Pretty is its name. This one is from Ken, 1996, Go In Style, this number 68040, missing black sandals. I don't have the sandals, but um, I do have now his kind of Hawaiian shirt and the matching shorts to it. So it's a Ken fashion. Love this shirt, really colorful. Oh, we're going in the 80s, 1988, Weekend Fashion, number 1322, or it could also belong to the 1989, My First Fashions for number 9299. Missing yellow shorts, so not sure on which fashion pack this belongs, but online it looked like that belongs to both fashion packs. It comes with this um, kind of jersey material shirt with the stripes, different colors, some shoes over here and the neckline is red so that's maybe also an indication for which set it could go but um, I have found so many versions of it so I'm not sure I just think it can, can come on both fashion packs 2000s fashion here 2001 amazing nails Kayla missing Kayla missing the accessories but I do have her skirt or her yeah dress actually 2001 oh my goodness look at this pattern <laughs> <laughs> this is now too much for my eyes, but um, that was something that was really popular in the early 2000s. Oh, 1998, coat collection, fashion, missing shorts, missing a white scarf and a black and white handbag. I have never seen, uh, never heard actually from the cool, uh, from the coat collection. Coat collection means like a robe um, or a jacket that you can put on, so coat collection. Um... This is actually the coat, <laughs> so we have here a black, well it is actually a jacket with a silver lining on it, but these shoes are really cool, love this type of shoes or boots, um, missing shorts, missing a handbag, but anyways it is a cool, a cool thing, never heard of it. Then I do have another one from the cool coat collection fashion, this one here, this is actually complete and that's interesting, so just came with a coat and the shoes. So it was just this outfit here. Love this zebra pattern with the pink um, combination and the same boots as on the other co um, co coat, coat collection. <laughs> Not cool collection. It is cool, but it is co called coat collection. It's a tongue breaker to say that co collection. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. We have four fashions that I have identified now. Um, this one here, for example, oh, 1993 Locket Surprise Fashion, the number 11560, missing, sh oh no, shoes I have, missing a heart locket and charms. But otherwise, the fashion is complete. Here are the shoes. This is the dress in a very bad condition. The color of the dress is so faded. This should be, this 
should be the color of it. So more in the light blue, it has yeah faded. You can see, I'm not sure on the camera, but you can definitely see here on the bottom, it has faded as well as the lace that should be like brightish blue. It is more mint. Sadly for that, 1997 go in style fashions, number 680, 40 minus 92, missing dark blue shorts, otherwise it is complete. Love that. So we have a lot of go in styles for Ken. These are actually the boots and these are like hiking boots. So really nice. I love that these boots, really cool. And this is actually the top from go in style um, fashion missing some dark blue shorts. Um, Teen Time Skipper from 1993, the number 68021, 20, 28, sorry. It is missing a denim mini skirt and a little diary book, but otherwise we got the shoes and we got here the jacket. This is a really cute jacket. I love that. 1990 Fashion Couturier from number 7214. I have never heard from Fashion Couturier. So, um, it is not fashion or private collection or haute couture, it is fashion couturier. Couturier, couturier. I think that is the very first one that I have. It is almost complete. It is just missing a blue handbag. We have a lot of stuff coming with it. Blue shoes. Then we have this one here that is a dress. And I'm honest, I first was thinking this is a knockoff. Um, because it is rough hem over here, rough endings. Um, I was not thinking that this belongs to Barbie as well as this one here I was like, okay, well, this someone handmade it or so, but then, um, I have the jacket and while researching for it, I found out that it is this fashion couture and th this all belongs together. Jacket in the knitted material. Love it. <laughs> really cool. We have a blue pullover that goes underneath and we have this hat. So that's really cool. This hat appears in so many different versions and ways. So I was first not sure where it goes, but um, it belongs to this set. So it is an almost complete set, just missing the blue um, handbag. Now to this one here, 2002 Cut and Style Barbie. Um, <laughs> this is actually a surprise. I already spoiled it a little bit in the previous video. Um, meanwhile, I do have the Barbie. I have that Barbie found at a thrift store, but I was not searching for her. I choose that Barbie, not knowing who she is, because I wanted to buy some of the fashions. That thrift store does not allow to only buy the fashions, so you have to take a doll with you. At the uh, other video, if you have seen it, probably then you know how I found out who she really is. And this is actually the accessories that goes to her. So it is almost complete. Now I can um, do this one here because I have Barbie. I have one of her hair piece. I'm just missing the scissor right now. So all in all, I have everything. She has the coolest boots, really cool. Um, then she comes with like hair accessories and so on for a cut and style doll. She has this um, Y2K uh, jacket and this kind of skirt, so really cool that I have now also the doll that goes to it and it is almost complete, just missing the scissor. One thing that I also immediately recognize is this on here. These two phones belong to the phone fan um, line, phone fan skipper, phone fan Courtney, one of those. We have a bag from bra full of brushes. Some of them I immediately recognized. Some of them are really cool. This one here goes to or can go to the mermaid dolls. Could go on that, could go on several other ones. Then I have this one here that can go to the glitter hair Barbie line. This can also, this is a brush that can go to so many different uh, other lines from Barbie. Then I have this ones here that I have actually no idea where this goes. <laughs> Three versions, blue, uh, rose color and pink. Um, they have no date on it, but they have numbers. I think they are Barbie, maybe Y2K or so. Um, but I don't know. I will keep all the brushes. I love these brushes. Then I have some typical 90s brushes over here. And the one special, this one here, a, br a brown brush. I have never seen a brown 90s brush, actually. And that's really cool. Brushes I always need. I always keep them so I can put them to some fashion packs that came with brushes and so to the dolls. So this is great, we'll keep them. Then, at the one seller, they had also these brushes over here. And I will immediately recognize this brush. This belongs to a Lady Lovely Locks brush. Uh, this belongs to Lady Lovely Locks doll. 
Um, I will keep this one because I have my very first Lady Lovely Luck found at the Think Pink Summer event. So I will put this brush to her, even though it's maybe not her original one. This one here, actually, I'm not sure where this goes. Um, is it the My Little Pony? I'm not sure. It does not say anything. Is it the Lady Lovely Lux? Actually, also not sure. So in case if you know where this special brush goes, you can write me down in the comment section down below. Then I think we are going with the clothing here, Barbie clothing that I could not identify. So maybe if you have an idea, please help me out with that. Um, you can write me down in the comment section down below where this set goes. For example, I do have this one here. It is definitely Barbie. It has a Barbie tag. It comes with a bikini top and shorts. I would say this white 2 k ish so early 2000s, but I could not find out where this goes. So um, yeah, maybe you have an idea. Then I have this set over here. Also Barbie, Barbie tag. <laughs> I could not find it, even though it has a pattern. So these are like cows cows and cats on it so it must maybe be something like slumber party or so but it has a translucent well um, uh, buttons so maybe early 2000s late 90s early 2000s not sure really cool and um, we'll keep it hope to find out where it belongs then i have this set here um this has no tag and i'm actually not sure if it's maybe kind of petra outfit or something or can i'm not sure so maybe you have an idea where it goes then i have this outfit and you think hey you could not identify it yes i could not it says here rock and was thinking yeah barbie and the rockers rock fashion could not find anything could really not find anything um it comes with these trousers i'm assuming because these trousers have the same material as here on the sleeves so i think this is a fashion pack but i cannot find where it goes so what else do we have oh mickey mouse yes to my surprise i could also not find out where this goes i do know that um back in time so 90s um there were also mickey mouse fashion packs released that had nothing to do with barbie so it was just like a disneyland fashion pack for a doll that has barbie size but there were also barbie dolls released with mickey mouse on it i could not find out where it goes so i'm not sure it has here the um copyright from it but it is cute we'll keep it for sure maybe it's a heart family or so i'm not sure really not then i have these translucent trousers also not sure on that from the size i would say it is uh, yeah it could fit barbie but i was also think thinking maybe gem and the holograms she came with some type of these trousers yeah <laughs> more trousers this one here um maybe this goes to a yeah what is it like um, um fashion avenue from the 2000s then i have here these ones just blue trousers i know trousers are really hard to um identify so yeah trousers more trousers with this one here also not i could not identify i was hoping maybe with the orange belt but yeah this is denim material but no idea where it goes then i have this one here this top um also could not find out from the from the top it user was thinking maybe it belongs to this um flower power california girl uh, line but um it does not so not that i could have seen that this skirt has barbie tag so it is definitely barbie actually also could not find out where it goes this short uh, shirt um, top or whatever it has like silver uh, stripes in there as well not sure this piece i am also not sure it has a barbie tag it is even a barbie fashion avenue tag in here so um but uh, i don't know where it goes i would say also y2k early 2000s fashion avenue oh this one here is actually a piece that i know where it goes this goes to the courtney um teen time skipper courtney then here are the pieces that i'm thinking are knockoffs so in case if i'm wrong please correct me but i think these are the pieces that i believe are knockoffs i do have this dress over here um interesting dress i'm really not sure i think it is knockoff or um belongs to another line this one here um is i guess this must go to ariel so um 
Disney doll. <laughs> it may it is obvious, so it is not knockoff, but um, it is also not Barbie. Then we have this one here. I am not sure, but I think this is definitely not Barbie-ish from the material used. It's uh, yeah, a thin Velcro material. We got the same in a little more yellowish color. Then I have this one here and I think this belongs to Petra. I have this dress so many times found, but I, I'm really thinking this belongs to Petra. Not sure, but it's my guess. Then I do have this one here as well. Also no tag. Yeah, not sure. This one here. Yeah, I think this can also be maybe handmade or so, but I don't know. I really don't know, no tag at all. Also this rouge material is nothing that I feel it could be Barbie. So I got this really interesting trousers. I guess these are handmade or so. Um, yeah, interesting trousers. <laughs> um, then I got this one here, paperback trousers. It has a snap that is bigger. So um, I'm not thinking this snap belongs to any Barbie-ish or so. So yeah, just my guess. Then I do have this one here. I think this is definitely also Petra um, robe or so. Then I have this swimsuit over here. Uh, not sure. This one <laughs> as well, not sure. Not thinking it is Barbie-ish or belongs to that line. This dress, no tag at all. Well, Croatia it could be, could not be, yeah. Then I have like this kind of glittery belt. First I was thinking maybe it goes to Ken, but not sure. It could go because, yeah, well, Croatia it's good Velcro. But on the other hand, I don't know. And I do have this bikini top over here that I'm also thinking is not Barbie. Um, to the last bag that I have here is a bag of accessories. I do have this bag. Really cool, nice bag. Don't know where it goes. I think it is definitely Barbie. Then I have this one here that is Barbie for sure. I think it comes in Fashion Avenue line, but not sure on that. This one here, also really cute one. Also not sure where this goes. I was first thinking maybe Flower Fun or what was it called? Um, flower power barbie but yeah not sure on that then i have a little trunk over here what is in here nothing so I just have this one hmm. i do have a pair of gloves also not sure where they go i have this random pink plate <laughs> then i have this phone over here there is a focus over here. A phone could go to so many um, things. I have a random piece of hair <laughs> in orange color. Um, maybe, does it go maybe to the cut and style Barbie? Actually not sure. Could not, we'll check on that, that it maybe belongs to the cut and style line. Then I have this random piece. Not sure what this is. What is this? Is this something for like the animal theming or so? No idea. Um, then I have this one here. I was first thinking, oh, maybe music loving, but it is not music loving from the from that line. It is something different. So I'm not sure where this goes, but really cool. We'll definitely keep it. I have a ton of sunglasses. Uh, I have this one. I have this translucent one, blue one and yellow one. So for sunglasses, I always keep them just in case if I know or have a fashion pack that belongs to it. I have this one here, this basket, and I have like this little duckling, um, this piece and this one here that I know for sure they go to Kelly, something with the Kelly line. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. So that's what I think they belong now that was actually my video my very long video about the things that i have bought online in august i really hope you enjoyed this video please go and check out more videos on my youtube channel click the subscribe button and we will see us in the next video with vintage gaudi bye